Ah, yes. Content. Now we have some content on the show. So last year when I was doing the show, it was during the weirdness of lockdown and everyone was really anxious and, you know, feeling kind of unusual. Like there was very little chance to have any, you know, interaction with listeners. And so this year we decided we'd try and manufacture some of that. So we sent out a request for questions for me, but only reasonable questions. So you guys have sent in many reasonable questions, very few unreasonable questions, which was uh, reassuring. Let's play the ident. Ask a reasonable question. There you go. I think the expression no expense spared kind of exemplifies that ident. That's the way we do things on this show. So the first question from Jane, she says, do you own any band merch and would you wear a band t-shirt or is that uncool? I would never say if something is cool or uncool, really, because that's an uncool thing to do. I do remember in the 90s, I wore loads of t-shirts with, you know, like kind of graphic things on them, like turntables or zany monkeys. So I've seen pictures of those and it, it really makes me feel... Um, bad about myself. However, I do have two band t-shirts. I have two Frank Zappa band t-shirts. I like Zappa merch. They're just mothers of invention t-shirts. What I would really love is famously Frank Zappa like ran for president in the States. And uh, I mean, it never got off the ground and and he passed away quite soon afterwards. But there are these amazing t-shirts that exist that just say Zappa for president. I'd love an original one of those. Haven't been able to find one. There's also an amazing poster of Zappa, Zappa on the crapper, which is just Frank Zappa sitting really elegantly on the toilet. Quite like to find a t-shirt version of that. Again, haven't got my hands on one. The next question is from Claudia. Did you manage to read Ulysses in its entirety? <laughs> That's a very reasonable question. Well, my story about Ulysses is I bought it like in my 30s, and I said, you, you have to read this, Killian. It's ridiculous. You're an Irishman. You should read this book. And um, I was doing a job in America, and I was on the plane, and I sat down, and then this other fella sat down next to me on the plane. I kind of quite sort of ostentatiously and, you know, pretentiously opened my copy of Ulysses, and he looked at me and said, you'll never finish it, man. So when he said that, I was determined. And I did finish it. Now, it took me a year I read other, you know, simpler books in between, but I did finish it and it was beautiful. You know, I got some chapters and then other chapters I didn't get, but I mean to go back to it in my 40s. Probably one of those books you should read every decade of your life. 